You guys, so we've been using Zello for over a year now since the last safety side to communicate a handful of us. And Zello, are, and Feather here is uh, one of the people who's been participating with us on Zello for the last year since the previous safety side. Um, you know, we'd call in, oh my gosh, is that what you look like, Feather? <laughs> Y'all don't know how exciting this is. <laughs> Uh, but Feather's been so radio than us from um, <laughs> <than I> thought. <laughs> South Africa all year. Uh, he's an Africa burn ranger. And um, yeah, I don't know. Did you, Cat? Are, are you able to, uh, sorry, Cat Bonnet, uh, Blue Bonnet, are you able to, okay, yeah, you got it. You got to unmute Blue Bonnet. No. <laughs> uh, um, has everybody got the information on signing into Zello? Okay. Um, okay, are we ready to go? Okay, so Chairman actually just radioed in on Zello. I'm Blue Bonnet. Um, I do Ranger things. Basically, uh, flip sides my home burn. I started out at Element 11, and I have the portmanteau of Cat Bonnet because um, my boyfriend is Cat Snake, so we do that. So this was a presentation I put together for last year's um, safety side on how to use um, Zello. And we're just going to go through it. If y'all have questions, just unmute and ask because I can't monitor the chat channel. So again, it shows screenshot from an Android and an iPhone. I don't know what the desktop looks like. I've never used the desktop app, but it is um, possible to use it. Um, Zello is a free radio app available for iPhones, Androids, and desktops. It can, it can be used with a data plan or on Wi-Fi, which is really fun when you're stuck at home. You can just play radio as we've affectionately called it. Um, it's, it's free, um, tracking events. So um, after Safety Side last year, we kept a Zello channel going and I, for about two months, would actually write down the times people radioed in and do a nightly debrief that kind of droned on um, and they became shorter, but it allowed us to connect directly with friends, um, we can have radio channel to communicate about or at a specific event. I know Chairman Miao has utilized that with Street Medic Dallas. Um, is anybody else here, have you been using Zello other than to stay in touch with friends or with Street Medic? Okay. Um, you can record all transmissions. Uh, sure. If you're updated, mute your mic. Um, that can record all transmissions, including texts or photos that are sent. Um, so it could be a double-edged sword if you're using it like at a burn event. And again, it has an option for text messages and it can be connected to a traditional radio. And I've never delved into that because we've all been at home playing radios. So the downside is it eats up your data plan if you're not on Wi-Fi and you can't probably transmit while other apps requiring a microphone are in use. So you can't interrupt someone, or sorry, there's a second thing. You can't interrupt anybody making a transition unless you're a moderator, which is nice. Um, if you're using it a lot, it can drain your battery quickly. And when your history is full, you cannot transmit, but you can have different um, requirements for how much information it holds. Um, so some random things, make sure you pause between transmissions so others can access channel if needed. So that's the same. Um, that goes on with regular radio and sometimes like you get like a spinning wheel of death while you're waiting to transmit and two people are at the same time and you check the app periodically as you may not have received a notification of transmissions. Um, I'll kind of show some screenshots of what that might look like if you're on three fingers. So, um, uh -oh. No. Uh, this is your Zello home screen. Pictured are the recent contacts I've communicated with, groups I've communicated with, and click on any of them to pull up any history I have. 
On the left, it shows what it looks like on an Android for the recents, and then I can go to my contacts and channels. So this shows that I had uh, communicated recently on a channel uh, and with just individual friends that I have. Over on the right is um, the view on an iPhone and um, a year later. So the tab shows personal contacts, top of the list indicates anyone who requests uh, to be a personal contact, then the statuses of your contact, and people awaiting confirmation. So the little green arrows mean person is currently in the channel. Um, and if it's like a little orange dot, it means that they're still receiving transmissions, but they're away. And so they can go back and subsequently listen to messages. And if you are on, if you are off channel and don't have the app on, you're not able to receive any sort of transmissions. Um, and then with contacts, a function allows you to communicate one-on-one -on -one with someone. Note, it's the only way to communicate one-on-one -on -one I've found other than communicating directly with a moderator in the channel. Um, one other thing with this, uh, Chairman Miao and I will be in, um, can everybody make sure they're muted? Um, everybody is sometimes will be in the channel that we call friendship channel. And then if we're kind of having a private conversation, we would say, I would say something like chairman, this is blue bonnet on private channel. Um, when we're having something that's either unique to us or kind of personal and then clicking at contact, um, and then the out to add a contact screen and you can just enter in their user name, um, their username. You can also display a different name than what your username is if you need to do that. Um, so this is what contacts look like in iPhone. And again, you can see the different statuses. So at that time I was busy, but still receiving messages. Cat Snakes was fully on calm. Um, channels, uh, this is shows all of the channels. At that time, I only had three channels that I was connected to and you can toggle them on and off. Sometimes uh, like just having it in your pocket, it might toggle them off and you can add channels as necessary and uh, just make sure that you're following which channel you're on. Um, it's the same thing with contacting individual people. You don't want to say something to the wrong person, get people confused, reveal information that you don't wanna to reveal to particular people. And um, this is what the added channel function looks like. Explore what each offers by selecting a tab. Um, and you can go through that again in the app, go to channels, the plus, if you're still trying to wait to um, do the safety side uh, channel, that's how you can add it in. And um, my boyfriend made fun of me for all of the, um, I don't know if I can move this for all of my green arrows. So you can, the little microphone means that you can talk, you open it up, you get the orange circle, you just put your finger on it and have to hold your finger on it the entire time that you're speaking and it'll show up red on your end. If it's waiting to get you connected, but someone else might be speaking or it's trying to connect you with data, it'll be like red and orange. Um, the circle, the red circle indicates how many messages you have, but it indicates either pictures dropped in the channel, text messages, or um, audio messages that may have been received. And uh, the backwards arrow just plays the previous transmission. Why isn't this going? Uh, tab shows who is on channel, the order displays moderators, personal contacts, and um, other people on channel. And again, it only shows you the status of people who are um, in your friends list. And um, like we have a member of the friendship channel, we've never known their status because no one's really sure of who they are, but it's fun. And if you're a moderator, you also have a few other options of what you can do. Like you can block people from entering, you can um, change with like passwords and whatnot, um, remove people from a group. So. Um, that can be interesting when you accidentally remove your boyfriend. Um, so the little messages icon will take you to all of your transmissions. The current display shows um, 
only there's like one text transmission at the top and then um, everything else is um, like voice transmissions and it shows you how long transmissions are. It can also be good practice with learning how to be brief on the radio because sometimes you drone on. Um, and then the pencil lets you delete messages. And again, if y'all are typing in chat and have a question, um, feel free to unmute or y'all chairman can help answer them. And uh, if you have the transmission, have it turned off again, you won't be able to access the recordings. Um, when you're going to delete messages, you can click the pencil, select different ones to delete. Um, I'll just go in periodically and clean out my history at times. And this is your menu is in the top right corner of your phone. Chairman, is this also in the same location on the iPhone? Yes, uh, they, they are very similar. They just look slightly differently. Okay, so this lets you go in. Sometimes I still have to um, mess around with it because I forget what's going on. Um, one other thing is if you set yourself to busy, um, I found that on my phone, it will give me a tiny little chirp when a message or a transmission comes in and I get just a little tiny dot on my Android. I don't know what that looks like on an iPhone. Chairman, do you receive anything like that? Uh, yes, if I'm on busy and I receive a notification, sometimes I'll get like a little notification up at the top, but it'll leave the little dot that uh, next to it that's red and shows me that it's a recorded transmission that I haven't listened to yet. Um, so this options, uh, I would just go in. The history lets you delete history, like if it gets full and to decide how much you want to record. And again, anybody who's on channel can record what's going on. Uh, I have not messed around with moderator functions to see if you can prohibit others from doing that, but be aware, like if you're using this at an event that it might end up being recorded. Um, this is what managing history looks like. You can set it up to store various amounts of data. Um, and this is voice recordings, text messages, et cetera. I had found out last year that um, my storage size wasn't that large. So I stopped receiving transmissions until I like emptied out what was being stored. So also be aware of that. If all of a sudden you're not receiving anything, um, the storage might be full and you either have to up the amount uh, that it can hold or just start deleting. Um, so that's basically what um, what it looks like to use Zello. Um, as far as how we've been using it this last year and the channel has been running for over a year, it's been a way for us to um, connect with each other and check in, especially at the beginning when everybody was isolating at home with no interactions because we didn't know what was happening. We would radio in like laundry incidents and then people would go, oh, I need to do laundry too. And we would open and close those. Um, we have morning, uh, a lot of times I'll say goodnight to the Friendship Channel, which is the one we've developed and uh, Feather will say goodnight Blue Bonnet um, or he'll say I'm enjoying my coffee. Uh, and it's interesting with the time zones. So it's been a nice way, again, to uh, maintain contact with people. Um, and it's been a great way to support each other through this. Um, another way, personal life, that it had been used when I moved this last summer, Chairman Miao was helping me um, move. And the drive was about three, four hours. And it was also when a tropical storm was in the Gulf of Mexico and was moving towards the coast. Um, and it was a full on ICS incident. Um, we had epic fail kind of doing periodic uh, weather checks for us. People were checking in kind of being like, hey, how are you doing? And so that was another way that we just used it in our um, personal lives and actually followed the um, ICS system. Uh, that we had all been familiar with. So I'm not sure if anybody has any sort of questions or comments um, on how it's been used. Yes, Jelly Donut, I accidentally removed him. I don't know how it happened. Um, and that's also another thing to be mindful of is um, sometimes like your screen is sensitive, so you might be sitting on it and transmitting the whole time. 
Um, so any questions, anybody played around with it, use Zello other than Chairman and Feather, would love to hear your experiences with it. Um, and again, you have to have cell phone reception or um, Wi-Fi to be able to use it. Do you wanna do Zello demonstrations? Um, I'm logged in on my phone. So if I mute here, you should be able to hear me over there and hopefully it not feedback too hard. Okay, so which, so I currently have um, two channels open. Um, I have the safety side channel from this year and then our friendship channel, which is what we had relabeled and then all of my contacts. So, um, all right, chairman. I am on go status. This is Sparky, I heard you. So um, what happened when I was going to respond to um, Chairman, because I had to open my app, as soon as I tried to respond, um, Sparky was transmitting. So it gave me like a little beep of someone else's transmitting. Um, so there are approximately 25 people on channel. And again, we use a radio protocol with this. One thing I picked up personally from Feather, that's just a little twist. Instead of saying, uh, like here we would say, Chairman, Chairman, Blue Bonnet, um, adding in from, so it'd be chairman from Blue Bonnet. And I found that that little pause also kind of helps like uh, the listener kind of know that their name's being called. Um, hard not to oh, go ahead, chairman. I was say same thing with the, like when you use a regular radio, you've got to, we suggest you press the button and you hold it down for a few seconds before you transmit so that your transmission doesn't get cut off. On this app, you press the button and you hold it for a few seconds until it beeps. Um, and that very much simulates uh, a radio keying up like it would in real life. You muted Blue Bonnet, unmute. Uh, Sparky, I didn't know if there was something else you wanted to say. I had a question. Um, so if uh, I, obviously I overrode uh, your transmission, um, the cat. So if if you want one specifically to hear from cat, but she wasn't looking at her phone or went around at the time, is there a way for her to see that there's a message pending? You know, like you got a message or to hear that trend? previous transmission? So everything will show up in your history um, that there's a transmission. There's no way to like for me to go back and specifically know that the message was from her to me. Um, you can drop messages in the text channel to perhaps clarify. And again, since she and I are uh, directly connected through contacts, that's where we might radio directly on private channel. Um, chatter can get really back and forth when uh, there's multiple people on, and so something might get buried. Um, I do know as a moderator, I can directly message people, but I don't know how that appears um, within, on their side of things. And um, if there aren't any questions, I think most of the people have Zello. We can wrap this up just a couple of minutes early and people can kind of take turns radioing in, doing checks, um, kind of see what happens when multiple people are trying to use it. Um, and um, yeah, anybody else comments, questions? We've really had a lot of fun uh, playing with this over the last year. So I'm uh, really looking forward to maybe hearing some of y'all transmit and chat with us over the next couple of days.